This is a MISC series of models with MISC 1A on the left enclosed by its closure plates. MISC 1, 2 are starting from the left to the right and MISC, uh, MISC 1, MISC 2, MISC 3, MISC 4, MISC 5, MISC 6, MISC 7 and MISC 8. Eight series of models. Joe is now going to put model Miss 1A on the closure plate. Joe is now going to put the sealant on the other closure plate. Joe is now going to put Miss 1A on the closure plate onto the other closure plate. This is the corrugated cylinder MISC 1A sealed. Well, it's going to wait for an hour before we can test it. These are two typical tensile specimens for the MISC series of models. This is Joe, who's going to put the first model of his series, Miss 1A, into the test tank. Joe is now going to put the closure plate on top of the test tank with the O ring underneath. Joe is now going to put the bolts in and screw the tank top down. Joe will now point at the bleed hole. We've got to pump the trapped air through that. And uh, there's the bleed screw. Joe's now pumping the air out of the, the open bleed hole. Joe's now going to pump there. The water's come out. That's fine, Joe. That's fine. That's lovely. Joe's now screwing down the bleed hole to seal it because the air, the trapped air, has been removed. Joe is now going to pump to destroy the vessel under external hydrostatic pressure. Read out the pressure, Joe. No. 25, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 120, 25, 40, 50. We've got it, 150. Claps at 145 PSI, what does the pressure fall do? 35. 30. Joe is now going to put his hand in to the crystal clear water and remove the vessel. How's it collapsed? Only slightly. Oh yes. Turn it around a bit more. Yeah. This is a short model and it looks like it's collapsed axisymmetrically, which short models generally do. Joe is now going to dismantle the model by turning it. That's right, well done, Joe. We've done it. Well done, it's come out easily. Well done, Joe. Let's have a look at the model. This is MISC 8B, the longest of the MISC series of pressure vessels, of corrugated pressure vessels.
Joe is now going to put the longest of the Miss series, Miss Gate B, into the pressure vessel. Joe's now putting the tank top on, which has got an O-ring on the bottom. He's now putting the screw down. He's now pumping the trap air out of the bleed hole. Joe's going to pump the water out of the bleed hole, and there it comes, all the trap tires out. Joe is now sealing the bleed hole with the bleed screw. Joe is, Joe is now going to test the vessel to destruction. Go on, Joe. No. Oh. 25, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 80, 100. 100. 100. And then 100, what did it fall down to? 40. It collapsed at 100, fell under 40. Well done, Joe. That's Joe is now going to put his hand into the crystal clear distal water and remove the model. Not, not bad. Huh? Oh, it's lovely. Just turn it around if you can, Joe. Turn it around. It's all right on that side. And there you've got plastic, non-symmetric bifurcation buckling, also known as lobe buckling or shell instability. Who is now going to dismantle the model. Well done, Joe. Well done. Here we have the two extreme sizes of the Miss series models. On the left is MISC 1A. And on the right is MISC 8B. MISC 8, 8B is the longest, MISC 1A is the shortest, and MISC 1A, MISC 1A has collapsed axisymmetrically. That is, the cross section has remained circular while it imploded inwards. Whereas MISC 8B has close to plastic, non symmetric, bifurcation buckling, also known as shell instability, and lobe buckling.